Okay, what we'd like to do in this problem is figure out where the water that is ejected from the tank is going to land on the ground. In order to do this, we're going to use Bernoulli's principle. We write the equation, pressure 1 and all the other terms are equal to pressure 2 plus all the other terms. So we have to establish region 1 and region 2. We're going to use region 1 at the top of the tank and region 2 at the hole where the water is being ejected. Both pressure 1 and pressure 2 will be atmospheric pressure. We want to make sure that we work in pascals and not kilopascals. So 98.5 kilopascals will become 98,500. Okay, they are both atmospheric pressures because both spots are exposed to the air. Now we can plug in the density of our fluid for all four spots, 1088. That is already in the correct units. And that will go in all four spots. The gravity, we can put that in our spots for gravity. And on this planet, the gravitational field is 8.00 newtons per kilogram. Y1 and Y2 are the tricky things they are going to be the heights of those locations and you could pick any spot you'd like to measure your heights I'm going to pick from ground level so this first one is going to have a distance of 2.54 to the bottom of the tank plus another 2.54 to the top which comes out to a total of 5.08 meters to this other location, location 2, we have to do 2.54 plus an additional 1.04 because that's how far the hole is from the bottom of the tank. So we use that as our total distance and that will go in Y2. That will be 3.58. Okay, so height 1 is 5.08. And then height 2 would be 3.58. Okay, now you have to realize that when this tank is draining, it's such a big tank that the rate at which this water level is falling will be negligible. So for the starting velocity, we're just going to use 0. And then we solve for the final velocity, that is the velocity as it leaves the hole. So we don't need to actually get a number but you should be able to solve this side and this side and solve for V. Once you get that V, that is the initial velocity of your water, you then want to do a projectile problem. So that means we break it up in the two parts, a horizontal part and a vertical part. The horizontal part, we have delta X, we have V, and we have T. And on the vertical side, we have delta Y, VI, VF, A, and T. Okay, the initial velocity is going to be zero in the vertical direction. The value we found from the first part of the problem, the speed of the water leaving the tank, that will go on the horizontal side. The acceleration, we use our planet's acceleration at negative 8. And the delta y would be the height from which it came out of the hole, which was 3.58. Make sure you make that negative since it's going to be going down. Then use your equations to find time. Take that time, plug it in over here, and solve for delta x.